In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and very easily design and then apply a watermark to your very own images. Now, the cool thing with this app is that it's all done online and best of all, it's free of charge. So there's absolutely no reason for you to go out and spend a fortune on programs like Photoshop when it can be all done here at watermarks.io. So this video is going to show you how to start from scratch and make your own watermark, then apply it to your images and then you can export those images for later use. And this should all take less than five minutes. Okay, so when you load up watermarks.io, simply click on the button here that says Go To App, and it will load up the online editor that you need to use to create your watermarks and then put them on your photos. Okay, before starting, I'd highly recommend that you go up the top right here and make yourself an account. Now remember, it is a free account. All you need is your name and your email address, and you are good to go. All right, so once you've signed in, you will end up back on this screen here where you can get started. Uh, the first step is to just import some of the images that you would like to put a watermark on. So I'm going to click on the link and import five of my own photos. And they are now ready to have a watermark thrown onto them. As you can see, it took no time at all to load them in. Now to put a watermark onto these, you simply come over the left hand side here and apply whatever watermarks you see in your library. Now I haven't created a watermark yet, so I'm going to do that now with you and show you how easy it is. So you click on this button here, the green one that says create your own, and it will bring up a few options for you to make a watermark. You can even go on a bit of a tour, it will show you all the different tools uh, that you need to use. I'm going to skip that for now though. Uh, you can use the full editor to make your own watermark there and position it wherever you would like. You can also use the tile feature here. So if you've already got a logo made, you can load it in and just tile it all over your image there for maximum security. Uh, you've got options to put little borders in on top of your photos and you can even use banners, which is similar to the border feature. The one I'm going to use today is the full editor. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is just add in a bit of text which I assume would be your business name. So I'm going to write in Geek Tutorials. And I'm going to also add in a logo. Now I've got a little camera logo here. It is white, so it's going to be a little bit hard to see on this transparent background, but hopefully you can see it as I move it around. Now I want my watermark to go across the bottom of each of my photos. So I'm going to move my camera picture and the name of my business down to the bottom here. Okay, so I have my photos here, filling up a good chunk of the page, and down the bottom, I've got my text and my little logo. All right, now I want to wash them out a little bit, so I'm going to just drop the opacity to 50%. I'll do that for both the um, photo and the text. There. That's it. My watermark is made. So I'm going to click Save. Give it a name, so I'll just call it um, Geek Watermark. Save it. That'll take no more than five to ten seconds to do so. And you'll see in a moment when our um, photos load back up, on the left hand side, you've got your watermark saved in your library now. And because I'm logged in, okay, that's saved in my account. So I can come back at a later date with some new photos and I can easily apply that watermark across those new photos. It's now saved into my account. Okay, so to put this watermark across my five photos, I don't need to do anything fancy, I simply click on it once and it's applied it to all those photos. So you can see it now down the bottom. Okay, I'll click it on this one where you can see it a little bit clearer. There it is. There it is. And there it is again. Looks quite professional and so easy to do. So that's done. My images are ready for exporting. So all I need to do is click the blue button up the top here, which is export. You've got a few different settings you can play with. I'm going to give them a name. I'm just going to call them website images. Okay, I might want to use these on my website at a later date. And I might put the file number after them. So it'll go website images 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Um, there's a few other features there you can play with if you'd like, but that's all I'm going to change in the naming section. You can resize them. There's a few presets there for mobile, web and desktop. Um, you can change it to a particular size in pixels. You can even reduce the quality to try and save a bit of space, but I'm going to leave it at 100% quality for now. And you can choose different file types to export it as a so JPEG, PNG, BMP, whatever you want. 
Okay, but JPEG's the most common, especially for photos like these, so that will do me. I'm going to click Export. You'll see that it pops up in my Downloads box here. Didn't take long at all to download. And there they all are. So website images 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if I open them up, there's my watermark on the images, and they haven't lost any quality. They still look just as good um, as they did before I put the watermark on them. All right, so that's how you use watermarks.io. Very, very simple website. As I said, free of charge to use, so don't bother wasting your money on those big programs like Photoshop. Simply come here, and away you go. All the best.